live and uh, I'd be sailing from Liverpool and we sail across to uh, Bristol on Monday and um, I just wanted to say something which follows on the conversation earlier about the comparison to what a lot of us of this age group, my age group, went through in the 80s, 90s with uh, the South African experience and it absolutely was the case that it was when we managed to get masses of people organised in Britain, the USA, right across Europe, and right across Africa and the rest of the world, when we got masses of those people motivated and organized to support the anti-apartheid struggle for South Africa, that we saw the regime start to crumble. And we saw our own politicians start to crumble uh, and noticed that there was a change of mood in the country. It was when the workers in the factories in Britain and when the mines of Britain, particularly in South Wales, saw the working conditions and associated their own lives with those of the miners of South Africa. There was a unity of understanding between the people being oppressed in South Africa and the way in which we in this country were exploited by the system. And I think there was a dawning that we are all in this world living under one system. And it reminds me of something Mick Lynch, who's the lead of a uh, RMT union, has been on strike for quite a long time, saying the other day, we're in a class struggle. And if you don't believe it, think about everyday life, your experience of so when you go to work and you find the oppression, the, the screwing down of wages, the austerity that's been imposed upon us all um, for many, many, almost at intolerable levels in this country. The same working conditions that we are facing in the same level of oppression and exploitation is exactly the same processes that we can see operating by the Israelis against the Palestinians. The Palestinians are a cheap workforce brought in to do work uh, as a captive um, I won't say slave, but a captive or, uh, uh, workforce that are brought into work for the Israelis and then sent away again to the camps.